Welcome back, history enthusiasts, to another captivating episode of History at War. Today, we delve into the haunting pages of a long-lost diary, a first-hand account of one man's harrowing experiences amidst the brutal chaos of the Eastern Front. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, piecing together the extraordinary combat of Fritz Weber, a young man who faced the unforgiving terrors of war. In the winter of 1944, I, Fritz Weber, a seasoned German soldier, found myself on the front lines of a pivotal battle on the Eastern Front. The bitter cold pierced through my uniform as my comrades and I dug in, preparing to defend against a massive Soviet offensive. As the battle commenced, artillery shells rained down upon our position, shaking the ground and throwing plumes of dirt into the air. The deafening roar of explosions filled my ears as I huddled in my foxhole, steeling myself for what was to come. The Soviet forces launched a relentless assault, charging forward in waves, determined to break through our defenses. My unit, outnumbered and outgunned, fought with everything we had, trading gunfire and grenades with the advancing enemy. The battlefield turned into a chaotic maelstrom of smoke, fire, and screams. The air was thick with the acrid smell of gunpowder and the metallic tang of blood. I witnessed the devastating power of Soviet tanks as they crushed through barbed wire entanglements and sent shrapnel flying in all directions. Amidst the chaos, my leadership and tactical skills were put to the test. I rallied my comrades, coordinating our movements and directing our fire against the encroaching Soviet forces. Together, we formed a determined defensive line, pushing back wave after wave of enemy attacks. In the midst of the intense fighting, I narrowly avoided death on multiple occasions. I witnessed friends and comrades succumb to the relentless enemy fire, their sacrifice fueling my determination to hold the line. The weight of responsibility pressed upon me as I made split-second decisions in the heat of battle. As the days turned into weeks, the battle continued to rage. My unit endured constant artillery bombardments, sniper fire, and brutal close-quarter combat. The front line shifted back and forth, with both sides gaining and losing ground in a brutal dance of death. Supply lines became strained, and we soldiers endured hunger and exhaustion as we fought on. My uniform was tattered, my face smeared with dirt and sweat, but my spirit remained unbroken. I fought with an unwavering resolve, knowing that the outcome of the battle could determine the fate of the entire front. Our ammunition ran low, and reinforcements were slow to arrive. The enemy pressed on relentlessly, exploiting our weakened state. Yet, despite the overwhelming odds, we refused to yield. We used every available resource, improvising and adapting to keep the enemy at bay. One particularly intense day, as the Soviet forces launched a ferocious assault, we found ourselves on the brink of collapse. Our defensive line buckled and panic threatened to consume us. But in the midst of the chaos, a ray of hope emerged. A squad of tank destroyers, long awaited, finally arrived at our position. Their heavy guns roared to life, unleashing a torrent of destruction upon the enemy tanks. The tide began to turn, and we seized the opportunity to regroup and counterattack. With renewed determination, my comrades and I launched a fierce assault, pushing the Soviet forces back. We fought with a ferocity born of desperation, engaging in brutal close-quarter combat. The battlefield became a blur of gunfire, bayonets, and hand-to-hand -hand fighting. As the days turned into nights and back into days, the battle raged on. We fought tirelessly, inch by inch, driving the enemy back. The once quiet countryside had transformed into a landscape of destruction, strewn with wreckage and the fallen. Finally, after weeks of relentless combat, the Soviet offensive began to falter. Their momentum waned, and their assaults became less frequent and more desperate. My unit, now reinforced and resupplied, seized the opportunity to launch a final decisive counterattack. We had endured unimaginable hardships and witnessed the horrors of war, but our spirits remained unbroken. Under the cover of darkness, we launched our assault. The element of surprise worked in our favor as we caught the enemy off guard. We stormed their positions with unyielding determination, driving them back with a ferocity they had not expected. The intense battle that followed was like a symphony of chaos and courage. The crackle of gunfire, the explosions of grenades, and the shouts of soldiers merged into a cacophony of war. Every step forward was hard fought, but we pushed on, inch by inch, 
refusing to surrender an inch of ground. As dawn broke over the battlefield, we could see the impact of our relentless assault. The Soviet forces, battered and demoralized, began to retreat in disarray. We pursued them with unwavering resolve, striking at their exposed flanks and cutting off their escape routes. The final hours of the battle were a blur of fierce combat and scattered resistance. The enemy, now desperate and outnumbered, fought with a fervor born out of desperation. But their efforts were in vain. Our unity, discipline, and sheer willpower carried us forward. And then, as the sun dipped below the horizon, victory was finally ours. The last pockets of resistance were quelled, and the battlefield fell silent. Exhausted and covered in dirt and blood, we stood amidst the wreckage, triumphant but mindful of the price we had paid. As I surveyed the scene, I couldn't help but reflect on the countless lives lost and the devastation that war had brought upon us. The faces of fallen comrades flashed before my eyes, their memory forever etched in my mind. We had prevailed, but the scars of battle would forever mark our souls. In the aftermath, we tended to our wounded, burying our fallen comrades with the respect they deserved. The reality of war weighed heavily upon us, even in the midst of victory. We knew that the struggle was far from over, that more battles and sacrifices awaited us on the road ahead. But in that moment, amidst the stillness of the battlefield, we allowed ourselves a glimmer of hope. We had demonstrated our resilience, our unwavering spirit in the face of adversity. We had stood together as brothers, united in our cause. The intense battle on the Eastern Front had come to an end, and we emerged as victors. The tide had turned, and we had played our part in shaping the course of history. The memory of that battle would forever live within us, a testament to the courage and sacrifice of those who had fought alongside me. We would carry the weight of that experience for the rest of our lives, forever changed by the horrors and triumphs of war. And as we moved forward, we knew that our journey was not yet complete. More challenges awaited us, but with each passing day we grew stronger, forged by the fires of battle and bonded by the unbreakable bonds of brotherhood. But, days after the Soviets pushed us back again and we lost all of our progress, this war became a war of attrition, and we were on the complete retreat of 1944. The fall back west. The Soviets had us right where they wanted. Our German brothers were dropping like flies. The sheer amount of Soviet manpower was overwhelming, they just never gave up. They fought with such brutality it was insane. And all this was for nothing. This pointless war. My frustration is growing. I can't even think straight anymore. What does home look like? What is home? All I know is death and more death. It is all I know.